This video will show you how to find inverse Laplace transform by partial fraction. In this example, we will deal with partial fraction with quadratic factors. We are going to find the inverse Laplace transform of s over s squared plus 4 over s squared plus 9. Note that s squared plus 4 and s squared plus 9 cannot be factorized and they are quadratic factors. So s over s squared plus 4 over s squared plus 9 can be split into two terms. The first term has denominator s squared plus 4 and numerator a times s plus b and the second term has denominator s squared plus 9 and numerator c times s plus d. To find values of a, b, c, and d, we multiply both sides by s squared plus 4, s squared plus 9. Then we will have a loss of cancellation. And the result is, on the left hand side is s, on the right hand side is a times s plus b times s squared plus 9 plus c times s plus d times s squared plus 4. We are going to find values of a, b, c, d by comparing coefficients. Notice the left hand side is 1 times s. You can write this as 0 times s cubed plus 0 times s squared plus 1 times s plus 0 times 1. And the right hand side is a s plus b times s squared plus 9 plus c s plus d times s squared plus 4. By looking at coefficient of s power 3, the left hand side is 0. Therefore, 0 on the left hand side and the right hand side where the s cube appears is a times s times s squared. So there will be an a s cube and also c times s times s squared so there will be a c s cube this will be our first equation and we need four equations with four unknowns next we will look at coefficient of s squared we have 0 times s squared on the left hand side so the left hand side will be 0 and on the right hand side where the s square comes from there is a b times s square and there is a d times s square so the right hand side will be b plus d so this is the second equation third we are look at coefficient of s power 1 on the left hand side is 1. So I have 1 equal to the right hand side. We can get s power 1 by looking at a times s times 9. So I have 9 a s and c times s times 4. So I have 4 c s. This will be the third equation. Finally, we compare the coefficients of s power 0. There is a constant term. The left hand side is 0. There is no constant term. So 0. On the right hand side, the constant term appears as 9 times b. So I have a 9 times b on the right hand side. And another term, 
four times D. So this is our fourth equation. Putting these four equations with four and one together, we find that the second equation and the fourth equation involving B and D only, and it shows you that B must be zero, D must be zero. Since this is the only answer, give you B plus D equals zero, and nine B plus four D equals zero. From the first equation and third equation involving C and A only, we know that C equal to minus A. Substitute into third equation, I get one equal to nine A plus four times minus A. That means one equal to five A. So A is equal to one over five. And therefore, C equal to minus A will be negative 1 over 5. So, S over S squared plus 4, S squared plus 9 is equal to 1 over 5 times S over S squared plus 4 minus 1 over 5 times S, S squared plus 9 or 1 over 5 times s over s squared plus 4 minus 1 over 5 times s over s squared plus 9. So the inverse Laplace transform of s over s squared plus 4 s squared plus 9 is 1 over 5 times the inverse Laplace transform of s over s squared plus 4 minus 1 over 5 times the inverse Laplace transform of s over s squared plus 9. However, we know that inverse Laplace transform of s over s squared plus a squared is equal to cosine a t. Therefore, our answer will be 1 over 5 cosine 2t minus 1 over 5 cosine 3t.